Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred here and I'm going to be going over the SAT College Board's SAT Prep Book uh, Practice Test 10 Math Non-Calculator Number 20. So this is usually considered one of the harder problems on the test. Number 20 is the last one on the Math Non-Calculator and you're rushed for time. When we look at problems on the SAT, remember a lot of the time you're not being asked to solve the equation. You're, you're looking for expressions and ways to see it in a little bit of an unfamiliar or different way. And in this question it says if u plus t equals 5 and u minus t equals 2, what is the value of u? So what is the value of u minus t times u squared minus t squared? Well, if you think really hard for a second, u minus t equaling 2 well, u minus t is right here, so that's actually the, the number 2. And u plus t and u minus t need to stand out to me. They really do. Because if I multiply u plus t and u minus t, that's actually the difference of squares. And so I see the difference of squares right here. So if I factor this into u plus t, u minus t, I can substitute the values right into this equation. So 2 times 5 times 2. So 10 times 2, which is equal to 20. All right, now I want to show you what I've seen a lot of kids do and how long it actually takes. A lot of kids jump to conclusions and they're like, oh, u plus t equals 5, u minus t equals 2. So u plus t equals 5 and u minus t equals 2. They don't take a second to think about it and they Get set up a system of equations, which gives me uh, 2u equals 7, because you add them together, use elimination. So u equals 7 over 2. All right, then you have to plug it in. So 7 over 2. You'd have to find t. So you have to do the same thing, find t, plug it in, square them, add them together, multiply them. You're going to run out of time. So I want you to really think thoughtfully about SAT questions. Is there something that's unique about it? Do you see a pattern that you might be familiar with? Is there a way to simplify it to make it easier? Because to be quite honest with you, most of the questions take no more than five steps. All right, so that's my practice tip for the day. Have a great day.